Um, then there is Baldo news. Uh, this is what Ricade is up to. Not much. Uh, he's still having those weird people come over to his house. Um, one of them is called Diane Imholta. I don't know how to pronounce that name. I would imagine it's Imholta. Um, or April. Sorry. her. I wanted to say that her name was April, which is correct because it says April Diane Imholta. But then I, I saw the date said April. I'm like, oh, that's not like – did I like confuse the date with her name? No, her name is April, and she has a hearing in April, uh, surprisingly. So um, th this woman, by the way, is the wife of the guy who he like kissed on or like licked on stream. So there is some discussion on if uh, there are like if she's a hot wife or – um, if she's like a babysitter, like she goes over and then has like tea and cake, little cakes, you know what I mean? Like those, I don't know what you, what you call those little like finger cakes that you get at like Starbucks but to go with your coffee. But she basically has tea and crumpets with, uh, Miss, Miss Rackets while their, their boys fuck each other. That's the, I think that's the prevailing theory on what Ricardo is doing with the, this couple that like, keeps visiting him. Um, they, they come over, he streams, gets drunk. They cook SpaghettiOs for his kids as Miss Rackets is passed out on the couch from the Xanax. And then they, they fuck the, the guys fuck each other. Um, so she is driving, she's in a hurry. She, she wants to drop this little tart off so she can go have uh, tea and crumpets with Miss Rackets. And she gets clocked, I think going 25 over the speed limit. It was something like really crazy. She was going like twenty five over and like a thirty five or something, um, and the the guy was nice. The cop was nice, and only get, uh, clocked her at fourteen, but left a note on the ticket that she was really going um, twenty five over, uh, which is nice because over fifteen is I think is usually reckless driving, which is like an arrestable offense. So if the cop doesn't like you and he clocks you going like twenty miles over, he can put you in jail. Uh, like actually arrest you, mugshot you, fingerprint you, and everything. Um, so it, it really is a, a blessing. But she's had so many tickets now. I think that her points are adding up. So she needs a lawyer. Chat. <clears throat> Does April know a lawyer in Minnesota who can represent her in traffic court? You bet she knows one. His name is Robert Ricada. So uh, she says to Mr. Ricada, Mr. Ricada. I let you fuck my husband in the ass like a little pig and I am in trouble with the law because of um, my my reckless driving habits. I need you to represent me. And so Ricada took on his first case and entered an appearance as her attorney. Uh, his first appearance, formal appearance as an attorney for anybody in uh, years at this point. And everyone's excited. Everyone... And probably even hundreds of people excited to hear the news, the outcome of traffic court, because the attorney present in it is Internet famous and hasn't done a case in years. Um, so <clears throat> right before this stream chat, there is an update to this case. The hearing where uh, Ricada was due to appear with, I think, April um, there uh, present with him to contest the speeding ticket so she can get off without any points in her license was supposed to happen, I think, at 2 p.m. Central Time um, today. How? She's getting the chair. Um, can we do a poll? Let's see. Poll. What was the outcome? Question mark. Vote one if you think she got off. Vote two if you think she has been sentenced to death. Or vote three, uh, if you don't think it was a no-show. I think that would be a fair a fair balance of votes, chat. The poll is now running. Uh, exclamation point, vote one, two, or three. Vote one, if you believe that uh, she got off. Vote two, if you think she has been sentenced to death. Or vote three, if you think that they just didn't show up. And then I will flip the page. And we will see the true outcome, chat. Also, you may simply not vote if you believe that voting is gay and cringe-pilled, which is a valid option. 
We're at 70, 80 participants. I will stop it at 100. We are approaching the 100. All right, with 100 participants in, six of them said she got off. 43% of them, or 43 of them, said that she's been sentenced to death. And 50 of them said she was a no-show. Um, so we can end the poll and safely conclude that people cheated because they were, in fact, a no-show. So uh, interesting question. Uh, does that mean that she didn't show up? No, it means neither of them showed up. I think that is the official thing. Fail to appear is the entry there. Um, I don't know. I think that there is some skepticism of her if it was just April who didn't show up um, or Nick or both of them. So Elb, um, who is Alyssa Clips, says on the forum that she was told that April and Nick were both no-shows. Um, which probably means that somebody actually physically went to the courtroom and sat in on traffic court and saw that there was no Ricada and no April, um, which I believe. I believe that somebody would do that. And um, so both April and the attorney were no-shows. And then uh, he also cancels uh, his stream. He is not doing a full stream, but he is doing a – so he's canceling his regular stream, and he's just doing a Locals exclusive um, private chit-chat. Um, cause he says he's not well enough for, for a full stream, which I just assume means that, uh, he woke up really, really fucked up and hung over and forgot that he had court that day. And, um, <laughs> now he has to come up with some excuse why he didn't do it. Uh, if you're hoping that he will be disbarred or something, um, I don't think that that's, what's going to happen. I think no shows are probably more common than you would think, and I think that if he just says I, uh, you know, I got really sick, or something, the court would just be like, whatever. It's fucking traffic court. It's not murder. <laughs> the judge would be like, look, the the, the he'll do like a a time like cost analysis, and the cost of like trying to reprimand or hold in contempt two parties for no showing, which might even be appealed and overturned is more than just, like, rescheduling it. So I wouldn't expect, like, a huge, like, slap down over traffic court no-show. Um, they'll probably just show up next time. But but it is it is literally a poor showing that he couldn't even make it to fucking traffic court. That's crazy. Oh, wait. I didn't even see this. What? Oh, my God. The Dick Masterson, Dax Herrera, Daxi Pad, Juju the Cow, a man who gets fucked in the ass while dressed as a cow, and Nick Ricada might be doing a podcast. Dude, this is the most exciting podcast that I've heard of since um, Hassan and iDubs. It might even be better than that show where, where Juju the Cow talks to a pedophile for two hours about uh, how much they both hate women because they're not children. Dude, I can't wait. I actually didn't see this clip. Let's watch it for the first time, chat. Let's see how long this is. I'm excited. 15 minutes? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, okay. Oh, my God. There's timestamps. Based. Um, Karaoke streams. So this is for the locals. He says that he wants to start doing locals less shittily. Um... Karaoke streams on his... Wow, awesome. That's really exciting. I can't wait to see Ricada drunk and singing in a hot tub. Wow, that's so cool. Um, new mount for the Midlife Crisis car. They drove off the road as soon as he got off the lot. Cool. Theology podcast. Manhood podcast. Oh, that's what we need. We need Ricada listening to Andrew Tate. Juju podcast. This is what I want to hear. Interesting. I've been trying to convince Dick Masterson to do a podcast project with me. Um, but I don't know if that would be under my locals or if it would be like, uh, similar to the biggest problem where it'd be like a joint venture between he and I It would be a joint uh, venture and he would take the lion share. You so fucking idiot. You think that Dick is going to give you a, a 50, 50 cut of the fucking proceeds moron? No, he's going to get like 80% of that shit. You're going to get a pittance. You don't even need the money. He's just going to pay you to fuck off and make you feel like you have a job. Anyway, uh, that's what's coming to locals specifically. Those two podcasts uh, are on my very specific list of things to do. And then also 
the live streams starting next month, 14 locals live streams a month. However, they have uh, no attachment to any particular um, rumble stream. I oh, should replace the, Vito. Um, too. He's just, oh wait, he m m mentioned the pedophile. Well. People keep telling me I'm too thin. How could I possibly replace Vito? You barely replace a cheek. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. It's funny because Vito's fat and he looks like he has AIDS. It's so safe to make fun of the fat guy for being fat when he's a fucking chomo. Wow. It really, God, he just ribs him so hard. I know it's supposed to be like a funny roast, but man, how is Vito going to take that on the chin and keep walking? It's so, so crazy, man. So crazy. A face cheek. So I've been meaning to do like this sort of one. Okay, I want this podcast to happen because it will suck ass. Dick Masterson, you will receive this clip. Someone will clip it and send it to you in Discord or whatever the fuck. I will watch and review your first episode of The Dick Show, the big, the biggest drunken waste piece of shit in the universe, episode one. I will review episode one and only episode one. This is my commitment to you. Make this happen. Um, make fun of him as hard as possible. Call him a cuckold. Um, rib on him. I will, I, I will, if you actually uh, make him angry, if you actually make this man angry, like drunk, like seething through the alcohol, uh, I will applaud you and I will manage to not call you Daxi Pad Juju the Cow Man and gets fucked in the ass while dressed as a cow for, for a full hour of review. This is the truth, I swear to you. I, I'm not joking. Uh, cool, excellent, wonderful. Can't wait for it. Awesome. Ooh. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!